What's going on guys, Bangalina here, and welcome back to another episode of Power of Peterson. We've been actually getting things to go, uh, together here in the last couple of games. And uh, from the last series of games, we have three upgrades and two skip tier upgrades. So we can actually really make this team better. I think we're pretty much set on offense, um, except for you know, I might be able to improve the offensive line a little bit more and maybe get some better run blocking uh, wide receiver. I might make an upgrade at wide receiver for this first time. But I think I really want to focus on the defensive side of the ball. And um, I don't know. I think I think cornerback would be a good place to start. Safety, again, is something that you look for. I think we're going to try to address the uh, the cornerbacks, though, with two of our three upgrades. And then we'll, you know, we'll think about more when we get to our skip tier. But let's go ahead and look for some cornerbacks who are gold, of course. Gold cornerbacks. All right, sticking with the theme of color on our defense, with um, I guess the secondary at least so far, we're going to go with Team of the Week for our first upgrade here. Team of the Week, Terrence Mitchell, who actually looks pretty good. 86 speed, 75 man, 75 zone, which is a significant upgrade over what we have right now. We're going to go ahead and buy him for 3,600 coins, and I think we're going to get another Team of the Week player again, sticking with that theme of the paint on our team. This time we're focusing with the green paint, and we're going to go to... I think Rashawn Melvin, maybe. Let's go Colts. Rashawn Melvin is going for 4.9K, 87 speed, 87 acceleration, 72 man, 78 zone. I mean, he's 6'2", very fast with decent coverage, especially zone coverage. I think he's a great upgrade to the team. And uh, that those are two of our three upgrades gone. Haven't used my skip tiers, obviously, yet. Let's go ahead and plug those guys in the lineup and see what the new team is looking like. All right, so this is the new look. Um, Brennan Langley is going to stay at the third cornerback slot, uh, or I guess he's going to move there. He, I want him staying in the lineup because he's played really well for us, and so is Dexter McDougal. Um, so he's cornerback number four, although Sammy Seamster is going to stay at cornerback number five. We just moved uh, our guy Dejun Smith out of there. But Rashawn Melvin is new, Terrence Mitchell is new, and um, none of the chemistries really align at all on our team. They are team of the week guys, though, so it looks pretty. Which I guess that's half the battle, right? Okay, I actually really like the look of this Terrence Brooks. 2,400 coins is going to be just the right price for me to snatch him up. And, um, like, he's not incredible, but I think he looks solid, especially comparatively to Malik Hooker. 88 speed's great. That's what really turned me onto the card, 88 Excel. But he also has 72 zone, 73 hip power. I mean, he's pretty well-rounded. I think he's going to be an excellent um, guy for our strong safety position. And our current starting strong safety was... Man, who do, I, who do I even start there? We gotta, we gotta scroll down way into the silvers here. Uh, I think I started free safety. Jordan Richards does not start. I definitely started free safety. Um, I have no, I don't even know who starts on my team. That's bad. We can't look at him, but I think Terrence Brooks is an upgrade at the position. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but those are three of our upgrades. Now we have two skip tier upgrades. If you don't know what that is, if we have a silver, it jumps all the way up to a low elite. If we have a gold, it jumps up to a mid tier elite, which is 85 to 89 overall. Um, but let's go ahead and put Terrence Brooks in our lineup just so we can get kind of a better sense of what the team looks like. We had Akeem King there. Akeem King, 85 speed, 60 zone, 59 hit power. We go ahead and put Terrence Brooks in there. I mean, he's better in every single category except minus two to speed, or excuse me, to height, minus two inches to height. Um, but I think this team's coming together pretty nicely. We've really addressed the secondary, and we have two skip tier upgrades now. My linebackers overall have pre, uh, played pretty well. I think I need to get some upgrades on the defensive line, and I think maybe that's where I'm going to use my skip tier upgrades to get two low elite defensive linemen. Maybe I'll even skip, uh, stick with the theme of Team of the Week. Who knows? All right, so my first upgrade is going to be this John Abraham. Skipping tier, obviously, from silver all the way up to low elite. 84 is the cut line, and John Abraham actually looks really, really good. 83 speed, 82 strength. He's got 85 Excel, 80 Tackle, 82 Blocks, and 85 Power Move, 80 Play Wreck. He just looks so, so good. And I think he's going to be a stud on the defensive line and a great addition to our team. All right, so the Washington Wall is unfortunately no more. At right end, we're going to go ahead and slot 84 John Abraham, not 85 as much as I would like that. Maybe somewhere along the line, I guess we kind of screwed ourselves on that. Unless we get rid of John Abraham, we can't run the better one at left outside linebacker who is really, really good. And at defensive tackle, I'm going to go ahead and put in someone that I already have. And I'm in between Danny Shelton, who's really, really good. Great block shed. 
Great tackle, play rack, decent enough power moves and strength. But Sheldon Rankins is also really, really solid uh, and fast. So I think we're going to go ahead and put in Danny Shelton, though. Just kind of want to play with some newer players. Danny Shelton's not bad. That also gets us um, tier one for physical front, which is plus one the block shed, which is not the worst thing. So the team is really starting to come together here. I'm a big fan. We also get um, tier one for blanket coverage, which is plus one to man. So Terrence Mitchell, plus one to man coverage on him, adding that up to a 76. Not bad at all. Those are our upgrades for this episode. The team looks really, I think, I don't want to say really good because we're still only 74 overall, but I think it's coming together quite nicely. I mean, this team is this team is really going places, I, th I think. Let's go ahead and get into this game, though. All right, so here we are. We've won our, uh, our last three games. And am I going to have controller issues again? That'd be a pain. Okay, we've won our last three games, though. One, I think two to a rage wit. One, we actually won a crazy game. Our team's getting better. You guys saw it. But uh, I think we can continue this win streak after dropping our first two and uh, upgrade our team. Really need AP to have a good game per usual, but a lot of debuts, especially from our two new cornerbacks. And I think a few other players as well. So I'm excited to see how everyone plays. Simply Savage, 99. We're playing your boy Savage. It's a YouTuber matchup. He's got Mutt Hero, Cam Chancellor, Mike Singletary, and Eric Berry really good defense we're gonna have to watch out for so it might not be as easy as i would like to get points with ap tough matchup we get to kick off though i finally changed my setting after i had to reset my xbox so that's finally back kicking off not a bad start and it gets in john abraham gets his sack he's actually a new player on the team he came in on a blitz got to the qb that's what i like to see try to take off with dak prescott we're gonna have to be mindful of that the entire game Here's the pitch. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Come on. I got to be better than that. I have to stop in the backfield, and I got... I, I, I can't make those mistakes, man. I cannot do it. That's an easy tackle in the backfield. Or at least for no gain. Here's another pitch. I'm all over it that time. You can't just keep running pitches to opposite sides of the field. Are you crazy? Here's another pitch. Oh, my God, it worked. Dude, that's so dumb. That's so stupid. That's so dumb, man. Simply Savage 99, you're sick. Tight slots pitch. <laughs> okay. He's going to send some pressure. Patty Mahomes, get it there. Oh my goodness, that should not have been a completion, but I'll take it. He sent some heat. Okay. We're just going to pass. Wide open. Desmond Lewis first down. Sending another blitz. I don't really like what I see. I'm just going to run. You suck. You're awful. There's a cute little ebook this guy's running. I like it. There's Adrian. Decent gain. He's a defensive line user. Block for me. I'm going to take the slide. There's Adrian. Adrian! Oh, close. Down to the three. There we go, Desmond Lewis. Touchdown. That was an errant throw by Pat Mahomes, but Desmond Lewis made an athletic play to go out there and catch the touchdown. We don't get the upgrade point for Adrian Peterson, but we get points on the board and we stay in this game, so I'll take it. That way. Give me the fumble. He's just pitching it every time, dude. You suck. You're so bad. And he's still going to get yardage from it because my players suck. This guy is so terrible. It's a pitch every fucking time. Absolutely awful. I hate to just come out here and complain all the time, but, like, look what he's doing, man. I still can't stop it. I don't know how to do it. I don't play the game enough. That's open. Pat Mahomes with a dart. Desmond Lewis is making plays today. Wide open over the middle. Desmond Lewis again, dude. 9 for 10, 101 yards and a touchdown. I'll take it. I find it pretty ironic this guy can't stop the same formation that he runs consistently. Except I mix it up. I run different plays. This guy's in the same exact play every time. I, that's 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 ridiculous, dude. I'm actually getting furious because there's nothing I can do when like my offensive lineman just let go of blocks immediately. Like as soon as they engage. It's ridiculous. 
Wide open under the middle. Braxton Miller took a gigantic hit. He's fine. We're good. Wide open over the middle. Darren Waller, touchdown. Absolute trash. This guy can't do anything. Offense, he gets lucky. Running cheese plays. Defense, terrible. And this is just, this is who I am. I talk trash. It's, it's what I do. Um, I know I'm not great at the game, but I'm going to continue to do it. Like, sorry if it bothers you. Just who I am. Not going to stop now. Who knows? We're going to use our Malik Hooker. Go over the middle. We're going to switch it up. Switch on. Across the field. Picked off Brandon Langley. Even though we kind of get re uh, replaced, he's still out here making plays. We're just going to step out. Brandon Langley. Still even after being downgraded. That's why we kept him in, man. He still makes plays for us. Wide open. Nice dive, idiot. I know I do that too. I'm also an idiot when I do it. It's not just limited to this guy. Second and 10. Don't find anything open. Streak that. We're going to throw it anyway. We're going to throw at him. I had, to, I had to test it. Had to test it. This is a bad situation. There we go. Good tackle, AP. That's fine. Didn't get points. I'm okay, though. We get to receive. I probably should have taken my points, to be honest, in this situation. That was not wise of me. Just thought I could get him uh, off balance and commit to something else with his user. That was my mistake. So I don't even have Adrian Peterson in anymore. It's just like he's stopping everything I try to do on the ground, so we got to take what he gives me. This looks like it could be open, though. Here we go. Here we go, Adrian. Oh, I chose the wrong hole, maybe. Maybe I was just a bit too late. I got to manage my speed boost a little bit better. I should have ducked down to Adrian Peterson. There's still time. That's open. That's open. No, Pat, come on. That was open. Now it's a dive. Oh my god, how do you not fumble the ball on a backflip? I really don't know how to stop this. There that is. And Hassan Reddick gets in there, makes the play in his debut, I believe. I think this is his first game. There's the pitch, and that is stopped in the backfield. Jalen Reeves Mabin making the play. And the sack. Tim Williams making the play. Awesome. Oh my god, no! On the streak. Malik Hooker, I guess. We had a deep zone right there. That can't be a completion, man. You coming back out of running pitches? Going deep. Make the play! Malik Hooker! He gets his first turnover forced on the team. Gonna turn it out to the 15. Okay, that's fine. Big, big play by Malik Hooker. It's wide open. I created my own nice little... Desmond Lewis, no. I created my own nice little play there. To abuse his cover three. Just get some, you know, easy yardage. Desmond Lewis, who's been making plays all game, goes and drops the ball. Post. Post. Desmond Lewis dropped it again. No. I know it seems like a, a poor decision, but I think I have to go for it. Purely because I haven't really been able to stop him on offense the entire game, especially running the football. So I fear that he would just, you know, get the ball and run it down my throat for the rest of the game. We're going to get the snap off. Post is open. Mahomes missed the throw. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It was so open. It was so open. I might want to let him score here. I don't even know what to do. There's the pitch. I literally put people out there. This guy is fucking trash. He really is. I, I, could, I can't say enough bad things about this guy. Third and seven. The clock is still ticking. We haven't moved the ball far enough. He's covering that post. No, he's not. I throw the ball! What? That's unbelievable! That is unbelievable! Oh my god. That is so unreal. My controller, dude, it just disconnected and then reconnected again. That's so unreal. Look, I can't... <laughs> Fucking wide open post. Wide open post. Good stop. Okay. Fourth and four, right? Fourth and five. Fourth and five. 
Show that he's gonna punt. We have no timeouts. Gotta run safe, man, here. We still have a chance, remarkably. That post has been open consistently on this guy. I should have had so many yards last time, and we just didn't get it. There's Adrian. There's Adrian. Truck him! Okay, I should have gotten out of bounds. I should have made an effort to get out of bounds. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm gonna run the same play. HB wheel has been effective. Because it gets a post, gets Adrian open on the wheel. There it is, Adrian. Burn him, burn him! Fuck! Just gonna run the check down. Duck out. 12 seconds from the 41. We need to get in the end zone somehow. I'm just gonna throw it to Adrian. All right, good yardage to the 29. It's just going to have to be a shot at the end zone. Honest, I, but no one on my team can catch. Hope we get the blocking. Oh my god. Oh my god, Adrian. I stepped out of... Oh, at the one. Okay, there's time. There's time. Oh my goodness. I thought I just ended the game because I stepped out of bounds. Although, it would have been a really close shot at the end zone if I didn't get out of bounds there. That's game over. That I just subconsciously know the time, make a really smart play. Potentially. I need the post here. Post is covered. Post is covered. so open he has no idea that the ball's in the air oh my god man what an undeserved loss i can't i can't even say it enough man look at this look at this wide open no one fucking covering him at all wide open throw him the ball i notice him i throw it he drifts just randomly starts the ball's coming at him and he says fuck it fuck the end zone i'm running away from where i was wide open also let's look at the interception i want to see the interception here look at this pat mahomes i see the post look at 13 you guys heard me spamming the button. Like right here. Wide. Wide open. Spamming, spamming, spamming. And then suddenly he just lobs the ball. Gets picked off. I'm sorry. I complained most of this game. How much of it was unwarranted complaints? Like for real. It's the caliber, the quality, and the kind of opponent I play seems to be ridiculous in this series every time. And it's the way that I lose games that frustrate me so much. That shouldn't have been a loss. That should not have been a loss. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of players make really good plays at time. Uh, the guy I just played is an absolute dick, bitch, pussy, all of the above. Absolutely awful. We're going to get demoted probably. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.